Like a moth to a flame, it pulls the same. Next thing we know, we're in a now bear's den. Tomorrow, I know it all begins again. But where we're needed, we will go. And I will. Welcome to Heroes of the Plains on Demi Plain. I hope you guys could actually hear about the last five seconds or so because it was full Muppet show of us talking to each other and then just silence because we're all consummate professionals. <laughs> um, you know, some of you have been messaging on social media, a little worried about us, kind of had a nasty run in with the ultimate evil last week. It's fine. I'm sure it's going to be fine. Don't even worry about it. But before we get down into our silky smooth and uneventful evening, I have to thank our sponsors uh, who help make this possible. Uh, starting with Hero Forge, we will have our Hero Forge giveaway. Uh, look at that. See, Todd already knows what he's done. He already feels bad about it. Look at that. Mm -hmm. um, Hero Forge will have a giveaway halfway through the episode. Uh, also, thank you to Sirenscape because epic games need epic sound. Uh, thank you to Idle Champions of the Realms. Uh, almost all of us are either in the game or directly related to the game. Uh, so you'll be able to get your chess code there and maybe consider adding us to your formation. You know, I can verify. Freely's kind of incredible, as are the rest of my compatriots here. Uh, and last but not least, as we just introduced last week, is Tailspire, which is a really cool 3D VTT. It is absolutely incredible. Uh, hey, incredible ratings up on Steam. Definitely should check it out. And we are going to be giving away five licenses for Tailspire, because when you play, everybody needs one. So we're going to be able to hook up a whole entire group. And Megan, through her techno wizardry and our seamless coordination, should be dropping that giveaway in chat uh, now. And with that, and I'm not even going to look. I'm just, it, it, that's, that's the no look pass to like LeBron and Dwayne Wade. And I'm just running by because I know Megan's got it. Uh, and with that, let's go ahead and introduce our beautiful cast and turn it over to our beautiful DM and get down to it. So uh, starting with Megan, the foundation of our group. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm Megan Kenrick. And you can find me on Twitter and Twitch at Megan Kenrick. And this Saturday, I will be in a charity game for Quest for the Cure uh, with Talon and Claw being DM'd by Tanya DePass. Be sure to check that out. It starts at 1 p.m. Pacific. Excellent. Hope? Hello, I'm Hope Lavelle. I'm a mocap performer by day, D&D enthusiast by night. You can follow me on Twitter at the Hope Lavelle. And uh, yeah, let's play some D&D. Excellent. Jen? Hello, I am Jen Kretschmer. Uh, you can find me on Twitter as at DreamWisp. You can find me on Twitch as DreamWisp Jen. Uh, I am one of the authors of Candlekeep Mysteries, the creator of the Accessibility and Gaming Resource Guide, and a number of other things. Uh, this weekend, uh, during D&D Celebration, I will be doing a couple of things. You can check out all of the, uh, the finalists from the DM Challenge running their games, and we will be crowning our winner. Uh, that will happen on Sunday at 3 p.m. On Saturday at 10 a.m., I'm doing a panel with Jim Zub, uh, Amy Dallin, Daniel Kwan, and um, and uh, uh, brain, come on, brain, uh, Liz, um, Liz Simpson. We will be talking about creating your first D and D character. It's it's geared towards kids and teenagers uh, just getting into the game. So that is 10 a.m. Pacific on Saturday during D and D celebration. So come join us. It's going to be a blast. Excellent, Lauren. Hi, I'm Lauren Urban. I'm the content coordinator for Idol Champions of the Forgotten Realms. Hey, tomorrow <sighs> we're starting. We're Hey, that beautiful man seems to like this game. Uh, tomorrow, <laughs> starting at 9 a.m., we are streaming a lot for the third week in a row because we've had fun things going on. It's our anniversary. We're also uh, showing off all ki kinds of fun things. Uh, if you like Rakira, you might like her eating cotton candy. I'm just saying. <laughs> Very val valid. Uh, Adam? 
Hey, I'm Adam Bradford. I'm the CDO at Demiplane. You can find me on Twitter at Bad Eye Adam. Uh, also, share that uh, just dropped today that we have a, a new adventure series from Deborah Ann Wall that uh, she's running on Demiplane called Cardinal Adventures. Really, really interesting. It's been amazing to talk to her about the ideas that she has for that. Uh, so, it's a situation where you can plan one of them, you can try to plan all four of them. Uh, and it's an unfolding story based on the the cardinal directions. So really, really cool stuff. Been really impressed with Deborah. And uh, of course, she's an incredible storyteller. So you can check that out. I think we can probably get a link somewhere there in chat. Uh, but you can also check uh, the Demi Plane social media accounts to see what you need to do there. And ready to play. I'm sure that we are all going to be fine here tonight. Fine, fine, fine. Yeah, it's, it's all fine. Good. Yeah. Also, real, real quick, I have a very upset dog, a uh, little poor beagle. It's been raining too much where I am, and he just doesn't get to walk uh, six times a day uh, <laughs> with all this rain. And so uh, the poor little guy might be a little loud tonight, but uh, we'll just use that as some ambient uh, noise. Uh, maybe, you know, how Briv is whining if something's not going his way. <laughs> he is singing the song of his people. Yes. And I've seen Love I've it. seen some of the stuff that Deborah has planned. It's it's incredible. Uh B. Dave Walters, I am the stun Hope Lavelle. That's why she's mocap and we got the same it's like we're yeah, you can't you can't tell us apart. I know. It's movie magic. It's bizarre. Uh it all over the place. But yes, D D celebration for the for the finalists. Uh did a panel with Todd that I believe airs eight AM Pacific on Sunday, which is rough, but catch the vibe. The, the panel's really great. Uh and uh also the game I ran, which is the Dungeon and the Dragon, which are a group of monsters on a revenge heist, which is at one o'clock Sunday, and it is absolutely bananas please check it there was this one's really something special i think you'll like it and uh in creative director here at demiplane which is why i'm monologuing here at the top of the show uh and with that i turn it over to you todd to introduce yourself and take us in yeah i'm todd kenrick i'm the creative manager over at cne games i have a wonderful DD themed youtube channel with my lovely wife megan and i interview folks at wizards i do wizards things some of those things have been getting published recently as well so that's been really fun and uh yeah i am available for sale where D, &D is sold uh <laughs> that's all i got girl same yeah. Get your very own Todd Kenrick at your local friendly local game store. Um, he will he will bring Asmodeus for you, uh, you know, into your life. We've got Adam's ever growing horde of treasures over there. We're just gonna have Todd standing in the back when he turns on the camera. He's gonna be like Zeus and in, in, uh, in Clash of the Titans. He just has like all of us. He like puts us on the show. You got you know Buddy Christ over here. So I'll put you on the, <laughs> the Buddy Todd. Yep. Put you on the show. Thing. Buddy Avron would be yeah. I think that's a, that's a sellable thing. Uh, okay. Well, previously on Heroes of the Plains, a whole lot of things happened. We were in an intervale, and then we're here, and that place is uh in a demiplane weirdly enough outside of a strange temple essentially on an asteroid where a series of undead liches had been siphoning off magic away from the phoenix and after an encounter with Asmodeus before all of this and after talking to the phoenix it became very apparent that a lot of things are going wrong in the universe and one of those is that the phoenix has not had a choice and so Orkira made a great choice by giving the Phoenix a choice, whether to fight or not. And she destroyed both books of the Phoenix in a moment of self-sacrifice and just honest, honest to goodness, goodness. Uh, you did encounter Asmodeus. You did find out that Bell has disappeared and has been up to no good. Uh, and that Asmodeus does not know what he is doing or where he is and an incredible role by Lauren Urban that was a natural 20 determined that he was telling the truth about that, but holding lots back. Uh, you also found out that, well, Asmodeus has burned down all of Waterdeep and 2 million people are dead. And after destroying these undead liches for siphoning off of the Phoenix for so many years in this demiplane, you left Willow behind. You all talked about how it was a trap. And then Asmodeus appeared behind Whittle and said, yes, it is absolutely a trap. And that's when Orkira cast what? A word of recall 
so that we could all appear behind Asmodeus because while I don't have a holy symbol anymore, fortunately, word of recall just is a verbal thing. So, well, uh, not necessarily behind him, but certainly around him. How about that? And so what is everyone doing? You all appear. You jump from that temple where you destroyed all the undead and you appear all around Asmodeus inside the control room of Storm Herald, the Flying Castle. Okay, okay. So we still fell in the trap, but I think we deserve some credit for realizing it was a trap this time because not a lot of times we don't even know until it happens. What do you want? My entire ah! life was a trap. <laughs> Well, I was wondering if you had made any headway about uh, the situation with Bell. No. Are you being entirely honest about that? No. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Are you being entirely honest about what you've been up to since uh, arriving a few hours ago? I haven't lied. Um, and? So I guess I would be completely honest. Yeah, you left some stuff out. You might as well say it. We know what you did. I I, I assume you're probably talking about something. So uh, can you be specific? Why'd you have to destroy Waterdeep? Oh, Waterdeep, right. Uh, well, I didn't really have to. But if it makes you feel better, it's been like the seventh or eighth time it's been destroyed. So it's it, it was certainly on the schedule. Doesn't make me feel better. Uh, I'm sorry. I hope we can still have a place of trust, despite no. the dist- No? Get off of Storm Herald now. Does everyone else agree? We I should just leave? let him go. I'm not letting him go. I'm telling him to leave. So we just kill him now? Is yeah. that- oh, are we doing it? And, this, and I do turn on the sun blade. <laughs> uh, Whittle is like buttoning up her cape and casting globe of invulnerability and she just kind of cloaks herself entirely because she's still not quite over the fact that Asmodeus just appeared behind her on Storm Herald. Uh, Mr. Mr. Asmodeus, can I ask you a question? Absolutely. Um, Because, you know, we, we, we just got Storm Herald fixed. It's all all blessed and, and you know, hallow now. Um, yeah, very uncomfortable, actually. But uh, yeah, yeah, no, no. Yeah, because you're, you're terrible. Um, So just real quick question, since we're sharing things. Uh, did you want us to come here and destroy that book? Oh, yes. By the way, thank you. Uh, Yes, absolutely. Uh, it, First right, off, bad, I, bad I really fraud. cannot stand the undead because their souls don't ever get to me. So it's like these very, very terrible people are just hanging out and not really going anywhere. And that does me no good. So uh, it was definitely on my to-do list for sure. Getting rid of the Phoenix is great, um, you know, in terms of like people summoning it all the time. But fire really isn't something we're really worried about, you know. Alendra, he's trying to trick me. Well, I'm as modest. I'm Devil, supposed Devil's to be surprised by this. I promise I'm not trying to trick you. Why Why did you destroy Waterdeep? Oh, uh, boy. That's that's a very layered thing. Uh, mainly because it could. Um, to see what would happen. And to stir things up. What are you trying to stir up? I, I mean, well, first, I think, understand that all the good people in Waterdeep went immediately to some happy realm, right? So, like, whatever they believe in, they got to go there. And all the bad ones came down to where I am. I see that as a net positive for everyone. So did anyone really, truly die? I mean, suffering suffered horribly. Yes. 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 But, Literally. But they're still around in sort of a way. And, uh... It's trying. It's it's good to narrow down where Bell is and isn't, and now I know that Bell isn't in Waterdeep. Th- that's why you did it. You you killed two million people just to find out if Bell was there. Oh no, I I didn't. I to be completely frank, I I like a good distraction. So distraction. from yeah. I mean, I can't tell you everything. I I want to talk about all of you though, since you are the new gods. Get off a of storm herald. So ultimately, if we slay this pitiful, sad sack little biatch on our storm herald, 
it will just reform in the nine hells somewhere. And so actually going through that is not going to do us a whole lot of good in this moment. And so I tend to agree with Orkira, thou dost need to leave, or we will take this floating fortress into thine precious nine hells and finish the job there. We could do it. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, how about this? Dost thou want to risk is it? There, is there a deal where I could bring back one no. for you? No. Nope. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to take care of that. You get off of Storm Herald. I'm not making any deals with you. Bring back Waterdeep how? Just reverse what happened. Just bring everyone back. But how? I make deals. I can make things happen like that. Wait, wait a minute. Isn't there some kind of consequence for doing that, though? Like, yes. you're going to bring yeah, back yeah, two no, million certainly. people. Yeah, like, oh, absolutely. Kind of there will be a consequence. I mean, not to the folk, people of Waterdeep. No, no. Yeah. We've, we've saved Waterdeep multiple times from those destructions you've mentioned. We will sort all that out. And we're going to figure out whatever this is a distraction from, and we're going to stop that, too. Okay. I understand. Well, I'm, I, I'm feeling the room right now. I don't think anyone wants me here, so... You Wait, smell like old cheese. Oh, I I don't at all. I actually, I have this lovely can of Phoenix spray. I, I disagree. <laughs> he smelled oh, like no. old cheese. Ouch, I would want no. to stay. No. <laughs> uh, I want to make sure. Like, as, 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 I want, Asmodeus would smell like X body spray. He would. Let's just <laughs> totally. canonically. Oh, yeah, I, I, wanna, would. <laughs> I want to take a look around the room. I want to make sure he hasn't done anything. I want to make sure he hasn't taken anything. I want to make sure in the time that he has been here that nothing has oh, changed. God, I smell it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the door's closed. <laughs> yeah, Todd thought that was cute, and he's gonna have to smell that now. Smells for the next like a lonely four. night. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that that is what happens when you taunt the phoenix. Oh God. Um. Yeah, yep. that must yep. last. You okay. Your God. So no, don't set off That's a match. True. It made your, It literally made your camera demo. My phone is like out. I'm out. <laughs> Why is that so strong? Because, because my god is upset that you had uh, <laughs> that you made fun of them. Old cheese would be better than this. Okay. Uh, so sorry for everyone in this house. Uh. <laughs> Asmodeus, I, I think, like, for the fact that you smell bad, uh, that that alone merits me kicking you off a of Storm Herald. Before he leaves, do I notice if anything is different? Nothing is different. Okay, how about this? I give you the nine house. How about that? It, it's yours. No. What? No strings what? attached. What? You like, are except, completely in charge. No and where, strings attached except for inheriting the blood war. Right. Just and where casually. Would you, where would you be going? Well, I don't know if you'd be inheriting the blood war, really. Does... What, do but I you think all those lives you can change. Like, I torture evil people. Maybe you can make them good. You know, maybe you can convince them to be good. Maybe you can help people. Like, imagine Avernus used to be beautiful. It used to be a absolute paradise meant to tempt souls to become evil. You could do something different. You could make the nine hells a paradise yourselves. Really? It could be all yours. No, not really. That sounds like a lot of work. For someone who says they're leaving, you you're doing a lot of talking. And you've put a lot of work into getting them to a place of balance right now. Yeah. Why would you give that up? Well, I guess it's clear. It, it, or, there's no soliciting on Storm Herald. There's a sign right there. No soliciting true. any of the Nine Hells. Well, I appreciate our time together. If you change your mind, especially you, Penelope, because I can imagine you ruling all of the Nine Hells in the kindest and best way, I will uh, leave. No harm, no foul. Okay, bye. Please. Bye. No, there's been a lot of harm, a lot of foul. Now go. <laughs> he puffs. <laughs> Question. Is soliciting another word for demon because i've always seen that sign there but i have not known what it meant i mean That's it a, does it not not mean not, demon yeah it's not unrelated honestly yeah it, it's usually the demons that are trying to sell you something wait are we done with bell or what what's happening we haven't even started with bell i mean which but I feel we're like still in the 
we're still in a deal with with Asmodeus, so we're not gonna do that. I'm so confused. We, we did not make a deal with Asmodeus. We said we would find Bell because we chose to, not that we owed him anything. I just Accurate. feel like he is leading us around by the nose, though, unfortunately, because he doesn't know where Bell is, but he knows where we are, and we are gonna take him straight to Bell. But, but after all that he's done, we're still going to help him? Well, but if Bell is hurting people too, at least we could stop him. I mean, I agree. I think this is still more of a trap. Because listen, he just tried to give us the nine hells, which means he doesn't intend to go back there. If he's not going back there, he thinks he's coming here. And what? But to set up a nightclub and solve cases with... Oh. <laughs> I, I mean, what will he do? I mean, the take that to take on, take on Mistra? I don't know. Uh, in, in the history of the realms, what do I know about those who have challenged Asmodeus? Has anyone successfully defeated him? How did he come to his position? Go, um, uh, go ahead and give me an Arcana check. Okay, and then I can also throw a legend lore in there if I need to. Oh, absolutely. Also, at this wow. point, we're on. Oh, that's Herald. a natural twenty. Hey, oh, hey. that's thirty-five. I was going to say you get a D four and everything because we're on Storm Herald, but I guess you don't. Correct. Need. I can add that as well. Mm -hmm. And yes. for those at home, that means chaos. <laughs> More chaos. More, More chaos. Yeah, so that's a Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven total wow. is an impossible deed. Uh, wow. Oh, I didn't see that. Nope. Good to know. Uh, what you know about Asmodeus is you've been able to put together a few things. Uh, one is he ended up at one point he was actually mortal, which is a thing that he has tried to keep somewhat secret. Uh, you know that he was part of the first world, the world that splintered into many worlds. Avermont's kind of got one up on him, but those were early days. And Asmodeus was not Asmodeus at that point, like in the full, like just starting out, training wheels for the devil kind of stuff. Uh, mostly he always has a plan within a plan within a plan within a plan. So you're like entering into a phone booth with, you know, in a knife fight. Uh, he's had a couple of run, run ins with the gods multiple times. Uh, but no one's defeated him. No one's really destroyed him. You do also know with that, I mean, that is extremely high roll. <laughs> he, has, he has a shard which started the blood war that he took from the abyss and the demons very much want it back. That's about it. Which gods in particular did he have run-ins with? Uh, in specific, it's been kind of all of them. They don't like him, <laughs> but but I, like I'll, I, I can may give you more specifics later. But it understood. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. No one, no one likes Asmodeus. Like they are like he he did sneak in some kind of contract where he is able to garner evil souls, and that was the early days of what he was attempting to do. So. <sighs> Is there anyone in particular besides, like, Grast who would have substantial power, but also substantial beef? Uh, the gods in general. Not big fan as long as he stays in the basement. But he's lawful evil and he does kind of stick to, he likes order, typically. So the destruction of Waterdeep water is very unusual. Yep. Where um where was he mortal? Where where would that where would there be records of his mortal life? Oof. Uh those would not exist because that was the first world. The, fir the first world, yeah. Yeah. So it is a first world problem. Hey really? <laughs> can I can I borrow your staff for a moment uh yeah any 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 time and just yeah. hand it out to her i'm gonna go close the door on that temple 
Uh, see if I can try to ask the Phoenix a couple of other questions because I feel like doing anything that Asmodeus wants us to do is folly. And right now, my main concern is like I said before we left, now that the books are destroyed, trying to do what we can for Waterdeep, trying to see what we can do to fix that without Asmodeus. Well, I, I mean, do you want me to come with you just in case there's like something else bad or? Uh, if you want, I, I'm just gonna go make sure the door is closed because yeah. I don't know if I want anybody in there. Yeah, um, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll hang back a few feet, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be nearby. I mean, I don't intend to be a uh, defeatist here, but thou did say now that the book has been destroyed, uh, why are we not talking about Waterdeep in the past tense? As in, now that Waterdeep is destroyed, this is our next move. Why, why do we think that why do we think that we can erase what has happened to Waterdeep? Why well, he said he could, and if he can, that means it's possible. I mean, we've done we've done harder stuff. <laughs> He's fine. a liar, literally from some first world that I am obviously studied about in school, but um, am not hearing about for the first time today. Is it- no, there's no way. Not not with with Agma and 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 with Mount Celestia and all that. There's no way they just they just let all those people die without us being able to do anything. Like bad there's things no way. happen all the time, and we but, cannot stop all of it. But we fix them. That's what we do. Listen, in this what case, we can. We can. You might both be right. We need more information. Let me go close the door and ask a couple questions. And I, I will hang like thirty feet back from her, where I, where I can see her, but but she definitely can like have a moment. I'll okay, go, are you going yeah. back to the temple when doing this, or are you just using the staff? I think. I'm, well, I can't use the staff, so I mean, yeah. I can't like use use the staff. I'm or Kira thinks she's going back to the front doors of the temple, closing the doors, using the staff to, you know, relock the door. Maybe take a really quick <laughs> look around to make sure no one has gotten inside, and then. She has a question or two. She's going to try to contact the Phoenix, but she can't cast commune at the moment. So that's... You you walk into the temple and a very upsetting wild magic surge occurs and, and oh it strikes all the dead bodies around you, Kira. Oh! And yeah, I know, I see it. Uh, but hold up. <laughs> so <laughs> this wild magic surge hits a lot of the dead bodies that were in this temple and they start dancing. They're not undead but they're dancing and they seem to be trying to challenge you to a dance off. And the, the, yes. all this electric chaos energy is like moving around and they're just like, I thought we destroyed them. I just point back. If, if I can see anybody on storm Herald, I say, ah, the undead that we made re dead are up in there dancing. We'll, we'll put their goggles on and kind of tries to magnify them. Are, are they, are they dancing? Yeah. Not that can good. They do when that? you, when when you haven't had tendons for a while, you can't really do the electric slide. It's bad. But we gotta, we gotta, we gotta answer the battle. We never, we never back down from a battle, right, guys? Huzzah! Is this a I, battle? If, if you want to pop, lock, and drop, I suppose so. Yeah, you do what you gotta do. Yeah. How <laughs> DM <laughs> when you're done dancing? How far away is Storm Herald from the temple right now? Uh, you're basically connected to the temple. I apologize oh, okay. for my leg action. My slacks are not very stretchy. Okay, so, so Whittle, <laughs> Whittle just takes off the parking brake and puts it neutral and just floats it over so we can just walk onto the temple. And remember, it has a parking brake freely. You've been doing it wrong. Does okay. have a park- You've been driving with the parking brake on. I've been driving on hard mode. Hard yeah. mode. Yeah, so uh, they are definitely not undead, Kara, but they are just bodies that are dancing around you. I, I, I'm going to do a quick sweep of the inside of the temple just to make sure nothing has changed in here. That, like, while we were being uh, accosted by the the Lord of the Nine Hells, that nothing changed in here. Alindra, you are struck by electric energy at this exact moment. And because of the wild magic surge for someone from someone in chat... You control the spice and the, and you can momentarily alter the universe. You are immediately able to alter one thing 
about your current situation, environment, or appearance. <laughs> the appearance is like kind of a low one. <laughs> like you're so vain. <laughs> I wish that was taller. I wish that was a baller. <laughs> I wish I had a girl who was the good fabric of the color. universe or your hair color. Yeah. Or or you know, get some nice pants. Mm -hmm. Um, oh goodness. All right, so we're going to handle this for an hour and a half. Uh <laughs> No, no. Like it's a lot to take in. It's a lot to take in. It's a big it's a big choice. I'm I'm going to not use this as a complete cheat code, but I am going to open up a, a path to that knowledge, which is I'm going to say there is a place that contains information about the first world <laughs> where we can go find out First world solutions. First world solutions. Uh, Modern the problems things, require yeah, first world there, solutions. There is something that has the records, the remnants, and the memories of Abir Torel. And we know something about where it... Alindra has read something about or heard something about where it is or maybe or the people who are the keepers of that knowledge who uh okay well this is going in a different direction so <laughs> <laughs> yeah. is that fair I, I this is a big one so no, i don't no. want to abuse I, the listen, privilege this is, this is the name of the game i love i love chaos it's, it's I, the I, big I just, one on I, the list. I, I just appreciate, by the way, that some of the wild magic surges are like everything you touch turns to cheese. A and lot. Others are like, <laughs> you fall asleep for you, a little you, while. Yeah, others or... are like you see through the threads of reality and tug at them at your whim. You know. It's like, and, I mean, and may I just okay. note that I've had this twice now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> the first time was perfect. But... What you didn't foresee that? Uh, uh, I have foreseen this. I have foreseen this. But listen, V Dave, like, listen, turning everything into cheese around you is a lot closer to controlling the universe than you think it is. You would think. You're correct. Yeah. And it's easy to hide a body when it's cheese. <laughs> um, <laughs> cheese assassin. Uh, I had another joke, but I'm going to leave that. Uh, so, you didn't you, fun do this it? is your wish. This is your want, basically, <laughs> but not in a monkey's paw kind of way. You want knowledge. All of Stormherald just vibrates and bright white light fills all of your eyes. Painful light. And for a moment, you feel yourselves all float. You're floating. There's no gravity. You don't have a sense of time. You look, the light stops being bright, and you watch freely grow old and die before your eyes and then reverse and become a baby. All of you are like changing different ages. You're, you're, even your forms are changing for a moment. And then you're not on Storm Herald. You're in a, you are in a wheat field. And there's a thunderstorm. In the distance, you see a large mountains covered in algae and moss. You see a massive waterfall. And you see a small village in the distance. Uh, this this must be the place. Bad for us. I was trying to close the door. What happened? Why are we here? <laughs> do we do we need to go back? So do I know where we are? I've had information about this, or you with your true sight, and as long as you've had it up for so long. And all your portents all leading up to this moment for Alindra. It's not that the world has been wrong. But the world has been fragmented. And as you use your true sight, you see a world without fragment. That was never split apart. You are on the first world. Briv's walking and is just kind of running his hand through the wheat. And then he whispers, what we do in life echoes in eternity. <laughs> <laughs> and 
Yeah. Uh, he just continues to walk. Do we want to get back to Storm Herald? I can I can do that one more time um, if we want to get back. Yeah, in, a, in a moment, I think this is important. I hope so, because I thought closing the door was important too, but okay, where are we? Uh, and, and we can. This is... Do you not see the... The, the two halves have, have come together? H- halves of what? Everything. I attempt to activate my divine sense to see one if it even functions. Uh, it does. It's unsettling because you feel like you are not, it's not that you're not welcome here. It's that there's something prim, not even primordial. This is a world. Uh, this is a beautiful place. You feel extreme harmony at this place. At the same time, you're like, is this what it's a little unsettling. It's so primal. It's so fundamental. But Penelope. you don't sense any undeath. In what is your range for sensing undeath? It's 60 feet, and it's undead, celestials, fey, or fiends. What's your favorite thing? My friends? Oh, oh no. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Twilight Zone monkey pods. Damn, they're here. Duh. He's a spicy, positive one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, Alinder, because you have the robe of... I assume you keep the robe of eyes on at all time, especially how things are going right now. It, yes. Like yeah, you see a them. little a little boy with auburn hair picking Freely's pocket. Oh, um, excuse me, uh, Freely. Yes? Oh. Uh, what, what are you doing? Uh, his pockets look dirty. <laughs> and you were cleaning his pockets for him? Yeah. He does have dirty pockets. He dropped pockets. these coins. <laughs> My pockets oh, are oh, immaculate. Yes. Um, Sorry. I just want... I, here's your coins. What, 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 where did you come from? Uh, I was just in the week. You know, hanging out. So, uh... Well, where anyways, are you? I, I'm Children glad you're, of the wheat. Your coins minute, back where, and everything. I gotta does, go. Does this, does this little boy, boy look familiar to me? Yeah. 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 Uh, anyways, so is there a reward for me finding the coins, uh, halfling? What? What? There's not. You robbed me. What are you talking about? Is there a reward? No, I found the coins. What? There's. What? That's customary that there should be a reward. I found them in my I pocket. I actually <laughs> the or, the original blade, the original moon blade that I had in my hand. I ching. What's wait, your name? Wait, 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 wait. For a moment, please, Fre- freely. I think perhaps he's going to give- kill a kid. Perhaps you should give him a coin. Fair and fine. I, like I the same size. take one of the coins out of the boy's hand and I hold it up next to him as as like side by side. Do you? This is important, art it like the, the uh, what? Uh, the, Before. What? Whittle, 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 whittle. This kid look familiar to you? It cannot be. It cannot be. I mean, no, I can't say. I can't say they look familiar to me. All kids look the wait, same. Wait, what? Is, what is your name, young man? Uh, my name is Arvin. <laughs> that is sounds it, like Avery. Is it really? <laughs> That's my true name. Hmm. What, what a just, coincidence. I just sort of like squat down slightly in front of him because I don't have to bend down very far to look him eye to eye, I don't think. I say, no. <laughs> you know, you might not believe this, uh, but we've met or will meet, but we're lost right now. Um, maybe you can help us, Arvin. This is a wheat field? <laughs> is there like a town or a village? Like, is there like a, like a town wise woman or something that our wise woman can speak to? Oh yeah. They're up on the mountainside, there's the the silver palace. There's sort of uh, uh protectors. Um I've never been up there. I told them I'm not supposed to go up there, but okay, I've been up there. But a follow up question. Follow up question. 
have you already met a little girl named Sophia's? Uh, so or something no? like it, Sophia's or Sophia House or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, that doesn't sound like. No, I I don't think I've met a girl black. Keep, keep an ear open. When you're when you're gonna meet her, you guys are gonna hit it off. Yeah. Okay. So, but, she sounds pretty. She's a lot of things, and pretty's one of them. Yeah. But no, I think you guys are gonna get along great. But uh, don't follow us, Avrian. Okay, and he's just like moving around. Also, do Alindra, not. Rob you are just like clocking him every time he tries to pick Penelope's hat pocket. Yeah. And you're just gonna find worms. <laughs> <That's Ew. true. laughs> Does anyone else think it's weird that this kid's name is so close to Avrin's? Uh, yeah. Avrin. That's a weird name. My name I is agree. Not, yeah, that's. I gotta go home. Wait, so wait a minute. Um, wait, where are your parents? I'm not going to tell you where my parents are. That's 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 a no. Why, that's why a not? no. No. Why not? Uh, I I don't know you. All right. You just you just stole from my friend here, and uh, we gotta let your parents know. No, you don't. <laughs> no. Uh, so I've helped you. You can give me a reward if you want to or not. That's totally up to you. I completely understand if you don't want to, but I'm going to go home now. I appreciate all what of you. You look place? very heroic. What? What is this place? I mean, this place is this place. This is this is home. Does it have a name? Uh, I don't think we've ever named it. I mean, this is just this is a wheat field. That's a mountain. I don't understand what you mean. Is there are there other places? Uh, yeah. You're saying there aren't any other places? Yeah, I, I'm five, so I've never really been past that hill. Has anybody from your village been past what? that hill? I know. We're told not to go past the, the, the... There's like a bunch of rocks and stuff. We're told never go past there because the ooh, spooky stuff. I don't believe it. You said my wings work now, right? Yep. I just look at Orkira and I'm like... <laughs> and shoot straight up into the air. Okay, you shoot I, shoot straight up in there. Or, Orkira has looked um, scared this whole time and hasn't said anything but as freely takes off she sighs. All right, I will have his back, and I will fly after him. All right. Well, it was nice being all of you. Wait, have a nice day. I want to. I want to teach you something. I promise it won't be boring. Um, I want to. Uh, can you do? And I, I do a, a, a gesture with my hands. I want to teach him minor illusion. Oh. <laughs> yep. No. No? Okay, I won't. Oh, no, 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 no. Like, you try, you show him, you show him at that moment, like, minor illusion. He just shoots up with his finger, and an eldritch blast explodes into there. Oh, that's okay. I already got magic from a, from a man. Just, can you trust me that? Yes, I can do that, too. <laughs> I'm sorry, did, did you say you're old man? No. An old from, man. From an old man. Yeah, he had big pointy horns. That was a while ago. Whittle looks over at Alindra. I like Minor Illusion, though. It's really fun. You can really uh, pull the wool over people's eyes. Just practice your card tricks. Might come in handy someday. Uh, okay. That was obscure. Well, it was nice meeting you. Uh, hi, you seem like a paladin. Gnomes what are was, cool. Yeah, I, li you I like your goggles. the name of the, the, the person who, who gave you your magic. Oh, his name was his name. He told me his actual name, and I'm never gonna tell anybody. <laughs> but uh, Why not? He, he's known as Asmodeus. Oh, I can't say it. That's the thing. Got stuck. What if you thought part of the deal? Could you think it to me? I can't. I don't think I can. But over there, uh, those people help people. They've always been very nice, and they've been here for a long time. I like your bush friend. It's because we're the same height. I know you're not a dragon, but you seem like a dragon. You look super cool. I like your wings. Orkira doesn't respond. 
she's flying after freely, but also she's oh, yeah. spot. Bye! Now the dragon. Um, dungeon master. Yes. Uh, this is one of those times that I'm colliding with freely not knowing something that I know. <laughs> uh, is, is it is it possible for me to, I mean, Arcana's not his jam, but the fates might smile upon me. Uh, Arcana or history or anything to uh, realize something? Uh, absolutely. What uh, are you trying to realize? No, well, here's the problem. Again, I know. I'm just trying to see if there's any chance that he knows. <laughs> so I'll just give it Arcana. We'll see. We'll let. Oh, okay. Decide. Does my boy know anything? Survey says. Because I can't even. I can't even say I rely on deduction for what the. Uh... Well, that's not terrible. That's not terrible. That's a 17. That's a 17. Okay. Um, as I'm flying with Orkira, I just say. Well, actually, another important point of clarification. When Alindra made this intent intention, did she say it out loud or was this in Alindra's head? That is up to you, Jen. Yeah. Um It could have like been like a <laughs> stay puff marshmallow man kind of situation, right? Like <laughs> Uh, well, don't you think, know what? Everybody, everybody, was on, everybody was on on group chat, so I, I'm right. happy to let you know that. That's fine. Uh, or Kira, as they as we're sort of like flying upwards, I say, yeah. uh, she said she wanted to go back to the to the first world, right? To to the place where it all started. No, that's not what I said. What did you say? I, I said I wanted to a, to a place that had information about the first world, the records, and or the memories of the first world. Yep. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, and that's a that's a young Averin, so we've gone back in time. Yeah, but but the Averin we knew was from Port Argent. Remember, we went to his hometown. Yeah, listen, we know like twelve Averins. We do know what's up with like I yeah, do, you I do just, know that he's been uh he he died and has been born again like a lot of a lot of times. Uh, I want to fly towards this silver building. Like, don't like go into it or land on it. Just like get a look at it from from up here. The building he said was the place. You you go up to this and there is um distinctly elvish, in make, beautiful, not as intricate as some of the designs you would see from Elvish architecture, but arresting, almost like it's made out of pure crystal. I relay this via the group chat of what I'm seeing. This building is like up the mountainside? Yeah. You said? If I go a little bit higher, what's on the other side of the mountains? More mountains, but as you are like getting more of a look, because you have like incredible percep, you know, passive perception, and you've spent enough time. And I, I, this place is not very hugely populated in any way. Penelope, you yourself looking around, these are all very early versions of plants of life, like even the wheat seems unadvanced the grass seems old but not old as in like it's just too new and, mo and the moss and everything like there's there's not a lot of complex life here at all it feels extremely primordial and what do i see over the mountains like just more mountains just nothing. more mountains you don't see more towns yeah. You do see I... oh well you see towns, you see an ocean. There's yeah, it goes on and on. This is a world world. Absolutely. Okay. But not more points of interest necessarily. I apologize. Well, just the way that the kid had been like, I don't go over the mountains. The, you know, is that just mom and dad saying don't do that because the the forest is haunted or is that the forest is haunted? Um the, It sounds very familiar of like telling telling a kid like don't go past like the rock path because that's you know that's danger. Yeah, we need but, to keep track of you. But all indicators are this is the only sign of civilization. Um, is this With, small town within several miles? Certainly, yeah. I mean, if you have you don't have the if you had the time to explore the entire world, you would probably find other sent sentiment. I mean, uh, settlements, but yeah, they're far and few between. While we're looking at this, and is there clearly an entrance to this temple? There is, absolutely. 
I don't go in it because we're traveling faster than the others, but I do go near it. Like if I can land in front of the doors, I will and relate through the psychic link that that's, that's what I'm doing. Okay. What's everyone else doing? Um, place with the memory of and and do I know anything about this place is it you heard that you, I had yeah you've heard rumors of the first world other than that and they became shattered and that's about it I guess we head toward the the town right towards the town and then the and the temple yeah, the temple is actually not in the town. It's on the mountainside. Yeah. Oh, it's a separate. Okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, any... Al Alindra would head to the people before she would head to the place of of knowledge because the anthropologist. That's what I do. Is I learn from the people. Uh, you okay? So, other than Linda, where is everyone else going? Are you guys all sticking together? Those who are on the ground and have no wings. Um, do you want to come with me? I'm trying to consider if it would be worth our time for me to offer a small walk with this tiny, what's his name? Not Avrin, but he said, uh, Arvin. Arvin. But he, uh, he left, didn't he? Did he yeah, he left. Okay. And he, he clearly was lying. <laughs> He's, and he's already out of our sight. Uh, yeah, you took your eyes off him. He's off your. He's out of your sight. He's okay. out in the out in the wheat. I'll go with Alinger then. Okay. Briv, Briv just looks around and is like, "I don't even know where we are, and so I suppose I will meander about whoever is closest." And he says that out loud. Okay. You and Penelope. Penelope wants to see what Freely is up to. Okay. Is there, like, so we're at the doorway of this temple. Can we see an easy way for them to get up the mountainside? Yes, absolutely. There's a path. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, all right. So everyone who goes into town and you, Penelope, you can determine how you get to that. Uh, Penelope will <coughs> wild shape into a <coughs> giant eagle. Okay. And, and go meet up with them. Every, everyone who goes into town, you see uh, it's just a village. I mean, it, it's a village full of people. There is there is a kind of farmer's market. There are place, places where people are selling their wares, but there's no high magic. It's just people selling bread and apples and stuff from the harvest. And there's scarecrows in the wheat fields. These are very simple people. This is a very simple time. And, uh, you know, the houses are made of stone and, and hay. There's nothing remotely fancy about any of it. Whittle picks up a jar that looks like pickles, but they're just cucumbers and water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess they haven't invented vinegar yet. You do see a pretty impressive selection of meats, Briv. So uh, someone is cooking some type of meat. Finally, something good is happening in this place. <laughs> uh, and so you can you, you can have yourself a nice steak uh, if you want to purchase some. I mean, I go everywhere that meat is being hawked. All and... the meat is amazing. Also, when you pay people, they're like out of their mind. They have not seen gold before. <laughs> so they're like, whoa. <laughs> I'm asking what kind of animal it is uh, any, before I eat any of it, too. Yeah, you, uh, you, you, you notice they're not everything looks like a hundred percent like the things, but like some of it is elk, some of it is absolutely cow, and uh, you know some of it's a variety of things, but you know the shape is a little bit different. Everything's a little off. Everything's a little bit different here. The meat tastes amazing. In fact, Whittle. you get 10 uh, temporary hit, hit points from the meat that you're eating. Ooh. Uh, Whittle is going to take uh, a slab of cow meat and elk meat and throw it up in the air and catch it in her mouth and drop some coin on the counter. Fantastic. You see children running all about. Everyone seems happy. Everyone's laughing. You don't see anyone who seems stressed. You don't see anyone like 
this feels like a community. Is there a place where people are gathering and telling stories? Uh, there or... is a place where people are like hanging around a fire and but they're telling stories that are not true. They are telling that they're being imaginative. They're telling they're there's, being storytellers. They're making there's stuff. always truth in stories, in myth. There's always a seed of truth and there's you can discover the most about a society and a civilization by hearing their stories. Perfect. It's uh, their hopes, their fears, what they value. It's all in there. You do get the impression they have a very limited understanding of how the universe works. And that they have myths and ideas that are it's all it's all turtles all the way down kind of stuff right i uh, have seen the, the, turtle. i have <laughs> seen turtle gods that's true uh but very much uh you know the night sky uh is a curtain with pinholes in it i've never been there it could be you penelope have find or kira and freely are outside of this sort of crystal palace um, so I'm nervous because we're back in time and I don't know where we are and I don't know if we want to wait for the others to come on up, but, um, what I was going to do before we ended up here was I, I was going to try to close the door and then ask the Phoenix a couple questions now that stuff happened, but I'm, I'm a little, uh, I, I don't know what we're supposed to do next. I'm a little worried. Yeah, you guys, you guys understand this is like the biggest stuff that we've had to deal with yet like the the master of the nine hells is trying to get loose he destroyed water deep we we've untethered the phoenix and now we're apparently at the beginning of time yeah but we're we're bigger too yeah and also really i'm not exactly sure if i like the fact that you just put untethering the phoenix amongst everything else that you just listed off you, you say that like that's a bad thing well, I only think it's a bad thing because Asmodeus wanted us to do it, so it must have been bad. I mean, maybe. I don't I, I don't know. I, I don't know everything that's going on. All, all, all I'm trying to focus on is what we can do to fix Waterdeep. Because I don't want Asmodeus to. I agree. And um, this seems as good a place to start as any, and I knock on the gate with my metal hand on the crystal, like, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> And it just has this harmony to it when you do so, and it slowly mm. opens up. Oh, that's <clears throat> pleasant. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> and Alindra, I, how do you deal with over, like, over, like it's overstimulation because you have the robe of eyes on, and you're kind of seeing everything for what it is at this moment. Uh, I, I think I probably shut down a bit because I. I am taking in so much information. Um, I think the, I mean, the first thing that I would do is try and limit one of my senses inputs because too many things coming in at once becomes challenging. So either you know, cover my ears or close my eyes to, to try and listen. Um, I mean, probably close my eyes to try and listen is the first thing I do here because visually I think that's where I'm taking in the most information. And, for your ears as well, uh, though you understand what everyone's saying and it's common, this language that they're speaking and you understand it has the roots of orcish, elvish, common. The roots of dwarvish are all in. I speak all of those languages. But the, so this is the roots threads. of it. Exactly. Uh, go ahead and level up. Okay. <laughs> Freely. Uh, Penelope Half Pint and Orkira, the temple doors open. As the temple doors open, just like before we walk on in, now that we're up close, because it's been described as a temple, what god is this to? Uh, there is no god in this, and not like anti god, <laughs> but it is not like it is a temple of learning. You see books and books and books and scrolls and scrolls and scrolls and a ton of variety of different types of objects that contain information, even crystals with runes on them. Uh, any of this look 
primordial. Oh, no, it's primordial. And someone walks, starts walking towards you with robes on, silver robes, up to you freely. Uh, Is there any way I can help you? I certainly hope so. We've traveled quite a distance uh, to an unknown end, really, but I tend to just kind of end up where I'm supposed to be, and that's here now. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, you, um, you know anything about a guy named Asmodeus? Asmodeus? It's a, I, I can't, I can never say it the same way twice. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, everyone, come. More robed figures come over. I give through the psychic link. I'm like, robed figures in here, they're being cool. But if we start screaming, you guys come running. <laughs> yes, he is an outsider. I mean, we are all outsiders here, but... Uh, very specifically, yeah, Esmodeus was uh, removed from this place. Removed? How? Moved? Banished? What did he do? He was making deals in the village, giving power. He gave one of the children magic in the field. He was also trying to buy souls. And they... The woman talking to you removes her robe and you see very much a skeletal figure with thin parchment skin and glowing blue eyes and very elvish in nature. I get the impression none of you are from around here. No, it, we're from quite some distance away, I think. We're from the future. Impressive. Okay. Um, well, what brought you here? Um, Fate. Okay, A well, lot of questions and, um, yeah. Okay. Well, this is the library of the, the Bailnorn. Wait, Bailnorn? Oh, that was the, Avery, oh, oh, okay. Hang on, I actually hit the Divine Sense again. Do they register as undead? All of them undead. Through the psychic link, yeah. I'm like, I'm like, Brave, don't freak out. Everyone in here is undead, but I think they're the friendly kind of undead that Avrin was. Avrin is not friendly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fair. You know, valid. <laughs> very valid. Very valid. Um, I just sort friendly of, is not an alignment. <laughs> uh, I do just say via the psychic link. Well, this might explain Asmodeus's beef with the undead too. They were the first ones to kick him out. Um, okay, uh, and I just say out loud. I say, so I know this is going to sound ridiculous, but hopefully you have some way to gauge truth. My friends and I are from another place, probably the future, and where we come from. There's an underworld where bad souls go, and there's a war there, and it's terrible. And Asmodeus runs that place. But he's very tricky, and he's doing something to get out, and he hurt a lot of people. He hurt a lot of people. And we're trying to find a way to make that right, and that path led us here to you now. I can see that you're not lying, which is the most upsetting thing. Um, so this man takes souls and tortures them in the future. I know, Orkira, we established you emptied the soul coin, but does it leave like a vessel? Does it leave the iron coin still there and there's just nothing in it, like gold press latinum, or, or does it disintegrate? It disintegrates. Um, <laughs> yeah, I looked, it, I looked it up. So yeah, all the soul <laughs> coins just disintegrated. Hmm. <laughs> I uh, conjure a minor illusion because freely seen a soul coin. He's had one. This is what they do to people. They turn them into currency. I am bound not to tell you everything about this place because I sense that you are not supposed to be here. And you do start feeling all of you a pressure, like something is trying to push you out of this moment. 
we're just trying to save the innocent people that he hurt. That's and all not, we want. And not screw up the past in the process. We've had bad luck with that before. Mm -hmm. All I know is this man wanted to become a god more than anything else and was willing to do anything to create order out of chaos. And chaos is not necessarily evil. He wants pure, unadulterated order. And to become something like a god, whatever that is. Well, but but he, he kind of did that. He, he transcended death. He became powerful. He, I suppose, he never got total order. So, I just say through the psychic link to everybody, if they did take everybody in Waterdeep and make soul coins out of them, and suddenly the devil's side had access to all that power, would that help them finally beat the demons and win the blood war? Would that be enough? Because that's order. I think one of the few things we can... I think one of the few things he said that was the truth is he doesn't know what Bell is doing. And I do also think that not everybody that would have died in that city would have gone to the Nine Hells. So I can't imagine amongst the eons, amongst all the people, that even a couple million people would be enough. That, that feels not enough. I don't know what else there might be going on, but that feels... Small potatoes, you know? But I don't, I don't, I don't know if there's any way to stop him and we don't know what his plans are. And I'm not, I'm not someone who's gonna be able to figure it out. So I'm just sticking with the, the one thing. Um, I'm, I'm looking around and you said that there's just books and scrolls and knowledge everywhere. Yep. Uh, quick glance, is it all in this like, is it in primordial or is it in like this common that you were talking about with Alindra and where it's all like the root language? It's the root language. It's the very first language. Uh, Alindra, you become very aware and all of you because of group chat, uh, which was the name of the spell again. So every everyone at home knows that we're not talking about Facebook. Uh, it's messages. very telepathic bond. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to be inviting. Uh, yeah. So you're very aware like, oh, there's a big library of the Belnorn <laughs> up on the hill. Uh, yeah, I, I would be heading that way. Perfect. Whittle, what are you doing? Whittle is following close behind Alindra and taking it all in because she got to enjoy a brief moment of peace and she got to eat good food with her friends and she's taking mental notes and mental pictures because she feels like these are good memories to have. And she's just following Alindra. Okay. You do so. You get pickpocketed. <laughs> what? You keep going. <laughs> what? What's the worst thing that you can imagine losing? Oh, no, don't make me say it out loud. Say it. Strahd's throne. <laughs> he wouldn't know how to like that would be hard a bag of holding. <laughs> it's pretty like Okay, good. So it has to be to in my pockets. <laughs> yeah. Um, I guess extra lenses for my goggles yeah he's there's a little kid running around in the wheat field going <laughs> with eldritch blast and big giant gnome goggles on a five-year-old <laughs> just just like <laughs> frying bugs in the field yeah uh so you head on that way as well briv you are uh okay your stomach hurts a little bit probably have you ever like just, like would briv eat too much is there a too much for briv the kids are excited about you because you are just like ripped and buff and you are made out of metal and like the kids immediately start like wanting you to like lift them up like like lift your arm up and they want to hang off your biceps all right like a teeter-totter and they're just like having I the blast pander to the crowd because uh, who am i to deny these individuals their showtime um and so uh, just uh, play it up and uh, no I mean like Briv definitely does not know like he doesn't know where 
the line is to stop with most things in life, and that would extend to food as well. Does that also mean like throwing children like 60 feet into a hay stack? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I de definitely <laughs> would not harm children. Yes, uh, but uh, yeah, but I might give them a thrilling ride. Okay, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of that going. I'm not. No children are harmed in this episode, <laughs> but <laughs> but you are like. You're Wait, does he does he throw one of the children? God, I hope so. Well, I mean, <laughs> it, if, if there are soft places like, oh, to land. Next. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Whittles, does thou want to be thrown, Whittle? Yes. I have like, often wondered. To his arm. <laughs> since I met thee, the question that has been bouncing around my brain more than any other has been: How far can I throw Whittle? I guess it's only one. We, we are about out. to find out. And so she grabs I, onto uh, his arm. I actually try with the kids. I was trying just <laughs> hard enough to oh, make wow. sure that. Uh, uh, I, I was trying just hard enough to make sure that they landed in the hay. But with Whittle, he's going to really try. Okay, given that Whittle is a gnome, uh, I want you to make a strength check plus athletics. <laughs> and for everything you get on that roll, it's three feet. Three feet? Not. Yep. Okay. Well, I have like, you know, expertise in athletics and everything else. So this show ought, ought to be a lot of fun. And I do okay. have no I'm call, so. Mm. so what is 19 plus 13? I think that's, is that 32? 30, 32. 32. 30, yeah. 32. Oh my God. Yep. Yeah, Will, you just fly 32 feet and like everyone <laughs> in the village is like. <laughs> She's going to land on an old lady and kill her and then we've doomed the timeline. Like, hey, go back like... to your seat. You're going to smell the. That's axe. why I that's that's why I married you. Uh, okay. Yeah. You, Somewhere in the temple, Orkira here looks over at, at Penelope as the two of us here are ah! in the mental bond. And, and I'm like, that, that didn't sound like She's okay. Bad. She's okay. She just got thrown. Nothing yeah. to see or telepathically hear here. Alindra, you do see a you do see a, a, a slightly elderly elderly lady uh drawing a gnome being thrown by a half orc through the air. <laughs> just like this seems important. <laughs> this means something. <laughs> this is the best day in the village ever. Like all these, there was a guy with wings and he flew up and there was like a tiny dragon. Things are very strange today. So this is the be best day ever in this village. Um, and you land safely, sort of, on top of a one of the houses. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> and you it would have gone farther if the house hadn't gotten in the way. Uh, if Whittle sees that any of the tiles are broken, she'll just kind of haphazardly put them back together and drop down and uh, run back over to Briv. Okay. Um, so Alindra, we, we you, could do this as a combat maneuver. I could send the launching towards an enemy, and then thou canst do. I don't know what thou dost do because what, most of what the time, is what is uh, over the telepathically link you here? What she cast a fireball. You could call it a fireball special. A fireball special. I like the ring of that. It feels like I've read about that before. But but yes, that is a great idea. And I think that, um, Whittle, apologies, but I really do not have any clue what thou dost actually do in combat because I'm normally in the front and then thou art so fast that mine old eyes cannot keep up with thee. But I imagine that thou dost something very deadly yeah, something I do, I do all of that but also fire comes out of my hands and my blunderbuss huzzah huzzah and so i can throw the very very quickly briskly um not up this time but like just out just and then thou canst do whatever it is and it will probably be very effective it would be pretty cool looking i mean you, you could be like a human catapult i like it we shall try that. We can practice that at some point. Or actually, I imagine what will happen because this is how most of my maneuvers get invented. We shall be fighting bad guys because we don't fight good guys, but it will be bad guys. And when that is happening, I will just improvise and possibly just kind of jerk thee up and just throw thee. Uh, so just be ready for anything. Okay, just give me a heads up before you do that because I'm... <laughs> 
I, I don't exactly have the the highest hit points. The, what the, shall I, our code strong. word be? Uh, Franken beans. Franken beans. Franken bean. Franken beans. No one ever says yes to that, but huzzah! huzzah. Franken beans, it is. Uh, uh, sorry uh, to interrupt, and I'm quite frankly I'm feeling a little left out, but we we are in a library <laughs> at the dawn of time, surrounded by helpful undead. So I'm official not there. <laughs> official DM <laughs> ruling <laughs> is that whatever you 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 from now on as Briv can take one of your attack actions, one of your attacks out of your attack action when you take it to toss <laughs> to toss Whittle, and she will do double damage on her fireball. Nobody tosses a dwarf. <laughs> they didn't say anything about gnome. Did you say double damage on a fireball? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Well, now it's dra Dragon Ball Whittle. Yeah. Like a signature yeah. move. That's all we're doing. Yes, yeah. Please. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank Synergy you, attack. Mm -hmm. okay. Franken beans every single day. Yeah. Ultra yeah. combo. Yep. <laughs> Wait. So is the safe word Franken beans, but I don't want to be thrown. <laughs> I mean, figure it out. You'll, you'll know the next time you say it. That's yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, you all get back to you all get not back, but you get to the palace because you sense a certain level of urgency. Uh, I do want to know really quick from Melinda: Do you grab anything like seeds? Do you grab anything of interest in terms of like historical significance that maybe won't be missed? It would only be if it was gifted to me. I would not take something without permission. In this you place. are you are gifted a flower. You are gifted uh, a child's doll, as you are playing with some of the kids. Um, th there's obviously food around. Is it machete? <laughs> it's not machete. Machete's not that old. <laughs> it's really just Kool Aid man's through the wall of the temple here. <laughs> Is it a jester Joe? <laughs> it's not a jester Joe. Joe. Okay, good. See, yeah. Don't worry, it's not primordial Jester Joe. Um, <laughs> so you're safe. You're safe. You're relatively safe. Variant. Yeah. Uh, and you're you so all... a flower and a doll is what yeah. I'm given. Okay. Yep. Um, I'm gonna turn to these pale Norn. Hey, I see you got a lot of books and stuff to write in them. Do you happen to have a blank one? Uh, yes, I believe we do. We just can some, some provide plain. you with a book. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Just something plain, simple, and like a quill. Um, not magic, not anything that's going to be, uh, that if I write in it, it's going to cause problems, okay? Absolutely. Are you unsettled by my appearance, by the way? I'm unsettled by a lot of things at this moment. It's been a really hard couple hours, so don't take anything personally, and I'm not hyperventilating about anything at all. Nope, it's all fine. What is your name? Uh, Orkira? Hi. Does my appearance upset you? Not your appearance, no. It's okay to tell me what upsets you. I'm not a fan of undead. I'm trying not to be rude. Well, why are you not a fan of undead? Because most of the time when it happens, um, it's a bad thing. And... So in the future, being undead is bad? Most of the time, yes. You have to fix it then. If someone's burning souls and making deals and undead are evil and the world is on the brink of collapse, uh, all I can tell you is this man. I've never felt someone who wanted to control everything so desperately and to be the center of all attention. He could have appeared as anything. He appeared as a man with cloven feet and horns. He has a desperate need to be needed. And you have to stop him. I'm sorry that I can't help more than that, but... No, that that's fine. I, I, 
I kind of feel a little weird even asking anything because we've had problems with time travel in the past, but I'm, I'm guessing if Briv ate half a cow, that me asking for a blank book that's not magic is probably okay. Do I hear any of that over the link? Yeah, our care is double. double okay, blind. so as that comes through, Briv protests and says, I think that only a third of it was like a cow, and the other things, I'm not even entirely sure what it was. Well, um... Cow bear. Hope, <laughs> hope, hopefully, we, we don't have to worry about your digestive system in an hour. I never worry about it. I worry about it way too often. That takes up a good percentage of my day. And then out loud, she'll say, um, yeah, uh, the rest of our friends are coming. And yeah, we're, we're trying. We're trying real hard to fix things. Alindra, all of you, Briv, Will, you all get there to the library. And you, you, you keep on feeling this pressure and the wild magic surge is starting to fall apart. You sense that you are being kind of excised from this time. Um, but but you're able to get to this library. Uh, I'm so sorry. We we do not have much time. Um, who are you? Oh, you're Alindra. I am. Who are you? You're the last of the children of Kayla. Be safe. <laughs> He's looking I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm who? You're the last of the first elves. Even now, you're the last of the first elves. Be careful. He's looking. You have to defeat, defeat Asmodeus by any means necessary from what your friends have told me. And how... He has more power than almost anyone where we come from. Do you have anything you can tell us about find, him? About find him, find him where he doesn't? Is there a place where he has nothing? Possibly in his nightclub. You are here for a reason. Maybe you're the reason. I don't know what knowledge I can give you other than this man needs to be stopped and he wants order and control and law desperately. But he can't be powerful everywhere. Otherwise he would be everywhere, right? I mean, he got tricked by a child because he let his guard down. That means he's arrogant. He's also maybe desperate because he's willing to sow chaos to get what he wants. He used my God against the world to destroy a lot of people. And that doesn't sound very orderly, does it? No, that sounds desperate. Uh, I don't know how much time we got here, but from what I understand, you're pretty immortal now, right? We all are. Yes. We live in and we, we persist until we wish not to persist. Some people when, go on to another where we came from, and some of us decide to protect others, and that's what death is. When, when we go back, where the place where we come from, um, is there a way that we could find you? Like, would you, it would you always be on a mountain? Would you, would you live in a cave? What is there? What's your favorite place? A tavern. <laughs> then you will find us uh, in a tavern. I think I know just the one. <laughs> It was wonderful meeting all of you. I'm so sorry that there is so much pain in the future, but I sense a lot of love in the room and kindness. 
and a lot of meat in that one over there. So, uh, we think you've got this. You have to save everybody, and you have to stop this man. And everything kind of shimmers and starts cracking around you as you are trying to absorb this information. Elindra, it may take a bit of self-control on your part. I don't know. It depends on how you feel about it. But there is a, a vast amount of knowledge on the walls and everywhere else. But I want as much of it as I can absorb. I would like to take in. It's too important not to okay. try and record it, even if it is at great cost to why, while you're doing myself. so, you are trying to write down as much as you, you can. You're not really interfering if you write it down, as long as you're not taking it um, out of this timeline. Mm -hmm. All right. Everyone, what's one last thing you want to do, just in case? Do I get a book and a quill and ink? You get a book. You get a quill and you get some ink. I stick it in my bag. All right. Well, that's for later. I look at this person right before we fade away, and I say, the world has problems, but it's actually really great, and it's really beautiful, and there's really nice friends there, and, and fun times. You're going to love it. And when things get out of hand, that's why you have heroes. She kneels down, and her silver robe just almost kind of, like, covers your head as, as she does so. Not on purpose, but just you kind of, mm -hmm. like, she's so tall. Mm-hmm. She looks down at your hand. You have to leave it behind so you can find it. Remember. Goodbye. And you all get popped back into Storm Herald. I immediately look around. Is anything different? Nope. Nothing appears to be different. And nor Carol would notice. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's convinced that every time we leave, that Asmodeus came in and destroyed everything. Um... I don't know what that was all about. So was it Frankenbeans when I want to get thrown or when I don't want to get thrown? Yes. <laughs> uh, or Kira, you should go ahead and shut up the temple so that we can get out of here. Yeah, yeah, I'll go, I'll go do that. Um, and I will... I mean, you can straight up blow it up if you want to. You I have what? a way we could do it. <laughs> <laughs> she's she's going to think about it for, for a second. Um, she still wants to go ahead and take one last look on the inside just to make sure nothing has been changed on the inside. Does Are the skeletons still dancing? Has anything changed? I mean, the skeletons are still trying. Like They're not undead, and it's very upsetting. They're still trying to challenge you to a dance-off, but, you know. Yeah, Best yeah, believe I'm... that alone. You do find, as you look around the temple, a drawing that is framed of a tiny gnome being thrown by a half orc. <gasps> it's us. Oh, wait! Why is my tummy so big? Well, and there you... is another framed painting of a uh, halfling with a little bit of green in his hair with wings and there is a drawing of a uh, very pale elf with white hair talking to people around a fire and there is a tiny and there's a weird drawing of this bush <laughs> with large eyes <laughs> are we all there or is it just Rakira? I, you, well, I think I had gone down yeah. to do this, but as soon as I see that, I would have called all of you. So if you want to come on down. I, cause, I'd like cause... to take a look. Are they attached to the wall? They're attached to the wall, including one that is like a drawing that probably is Orkara and it's like dragon question marks <laughs> in Primordial. Um, if you flip it around, is there anything on the back? Is there anything written? Uh, No. Briv's looking too because he's gonna file a complaint with whoever <laughs> took this likeness. He's like takes some exception to that. Yeah, I, I'm I'm definitely taller than how I'm depicted here. Obviously. Do we want to? Oh, go ahead. Do we want to take these? Because I I was thinking once I took a last look around about closing the door and destroying this place. 
but um, I don't know if we should take these or leave them. They're kind of the only thing here that isn't part of the whole Phoenix Death Cult thing. I like the bush one. It looks friendly. Yes, I, I think I think we should. Um, this is a weird question. Okay. It's, it's been, been a weird, been a weird day. It's, it's a weird episode. Weirder. Thank you all for watching. I hope you're having a good time. <laughs> Does Briv still have A, the deck of many things, and B, the comic book from the Library of the Norn? Oh God! Uh, he does still have <laughs> the book of many things. Uh, uh, the book of many things. No, let me back that up. Back that up. Deck of many things, and also that. Yeah. Thou wouldst not know that. There's a whole book. I don't even uh, know what I think about there was, that. There was a Next comic year, book. 2022, the book of many things. No. <laughs> In the year two. <laughs> You just flip to a random page, see what it says, count so many words in and tweet it as uh, you start a sentence with something and then just pick a page and never mind. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I give up. I'm picking um, up what you're putting down. Briv. <laughs> never mind. Okay. I'll, leave, I'll leave it. I'll leave it for now. Does not leave me hanging. Is it worth a reread of your comic book? Why? Well, for one thing, they're delightful. It's a, it's a lovely art medium. Of course they are, but once thou dost read them, I have a telegraphic memory. You do. You do. You can, you can telegraph information loudly across distances. I... I, I will look at which well, comic book? The one you I got from many. the library from the from the library of the Norn. Oh. Eh, this old thing. And I take it out and I'm incredibly careful with it because it's old and I haven't had a chance to get it graded yet. And so um pull it out of the bag of holding very carefully. And then uh Alindra, do you try to like peek over my shoulder or anything? Yeah, I'll look over your shoulder. If, okay, I, if you're uh, all right with it, I'd like to take a read. With do you. not touch the oil in thine fingers. Understood. Could create Understood. imperfections, and then you see Briv lick his finger <laughs> and open. The it's cover. his. It's his to do with as he wishes. But I, I'm just checking to see if there is something in that comic book that was not there before, or that we now can understand as relevant you see, you you see a half work of tossing a gnome you see a now this artist with better. red hair and green hair flying you see a bush that turns into dinosaurs and you see a giant dragon slash phoenix burning things to cinder and all all, all of a sudden and you see this a a whisking energy thing moving too fast for anyone to understand uh, all Something of that happened. is familiar about this. While they're looking at that, and I assume also taking pictures off the wall and everything. Oh, oh yeah, here's... Will has taken all the pictures off the wall. <laughs> yeah, um, you, you, you can probably put these in a safe place. Um, Orca is going to stand in the middle of the room with the staff and try to contact the Phoenix. Do I feel them? I have a weird question for you, if you can answer. All of the undead that were here, they were, it looks like they were siphoning off of you energy to keep yes. themselves alive. Yes. And undeath. Yes. And that, that, that pit, that was also taking energy from you, right? Yes. You've talked about how all you do is destroy things. Do you think it's because the resurrecting part on a grand scale was really hard because people were taking your energy? I am a wildfire. And sometimes that means I destroy things and life can replace 
that when it's destroyed, that's not why I am a hurricane. Well, sometimes, though, like you said, the wildfire, after it's burnt out, uh, life comes back. I was just kind of wondering, now that maybe you're not tethered to a bunch of undead things stealing your necromancy, how many diamonds would it take to bring back an entire city? I don't have that kind of power. What if I could get you that many diamonds? It would take a lot of time. I look over at Briv as he's finishing up with his comic books and Whittle as she's pulling stuff off of the wall. Do the two of you still have that bag full of diamonds you took from the dragon? A couple I of have so ago? many diamonds. I mean, I was pretty much just kind of shoveling them in at some point when we had that Fokira incident and we were throwing them in the bag. So, I mean, it's probably, we have probably two million and five diamonds. That's kind of what I was wondering. And silently she'll say to the Phoenix, I'd rather spend the time than do anything with Asmodeus, if you don't mind. What do you think, instead of destroying the city, you want to bring it back? Who are you talking to? I'm talking to the Phoenix. I'm asking the Phoenix. Oh, <laughs> oh I thought you were talking Briv. Uh, no, 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 no. So they confirmed yeah, they've got like, like three billion oh, diamonds. Me a really long time. <laughs> yeah. I silently asked the Phoenix, like, hey, I got more diamonds than I know what to do with. Maybe we can work together and try to figure out a way to bring everyone back. I'd rather work with you than with Asmodeus. And he's, I think, trying to convince us to, that we have to work with him, so. Something's wrong. Oh, there's so many things that are wrong right now. Yeah, like, <laughs> like what is it wrong? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's all wrong. I mean, I just picked up an empty book and I'm supposed to fill it with words about you. And I, yeah. And we were just in the past. Did you see that? We're going to destroy this temple and go try to figure things out, okay? Riv, you hear voices in your head. I hear voices all the time. Someone is sending you messages and you hear help. Somebody help us. Somebody else help us. Something's Who wrong. Somebody thou? help us. I need more specifics. Where 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 is Briv? Briv Briv still Mara. We need Briv still Mara to help. In Theros. We need Speaking someone in Theros right Theros. now. Oh, where mine statue is. We need help. They're uh, here. They who? Demons. Demons? Oh, we'll be right there. Huzzah. And Riv, did, did you say that out loud? Out. Oh, I'm definitely saying all that out loud. I mean, I'm thinking thinking it too, but I'm definitely saying it out loud. Finger to temple. And Alindra Perfect. says, I think we're going to need to go to the abyss. Why we need to go to Theros because they are saying they are besieged by demons. That will be a stop on the way. If we need to get Asmodeus to a place where he has no power, a place of chaos. Oh. What about Bell? I don't know. I do think we need to find Bell. But after we go to Theros. I think we might need to go to Theros yeah. because they have a statue of me there and I, I, I have didn't to live up a, to it. You've, you've got a statue in Theros? You never told me you had a statue in Theros. I thought uh, that thou worked there or I don't know freely. Thou dost come in and out of our lives so much that I can't keep track of who's here or who's not. I, I mean, but accurate. <laughs> Well, are, are I, Kira, are we done here? Can we go? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's get out of here and destroy this place. Um Wait, is Belle a demon or a devil? I skipped Belle is that a devil. day in school. Belle devil. is a devil. Belle is one of Osmodeus's lieutenants. Belle used to be in charge of Avernus, but that was usurped. Uh, the power was then given to Zariel. Zariel's in charge. Bell was not happy about it. But oh, well, I see why I skipped that not day. Eliminate Bell. Bell is a warrior. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That seems more engaging and interesting. Um, yeah, well, like, work but, that guy. But yeah, okay. so probably not Bell and Theros, but people are directly. How are people directly contacting me, I wonder? Is that I mean, something we, we I should be the concerned like, about? Like, like yeah, you did... do it. Like, we can all do that, Briv. Yeah, uh, Briv, did you recognize no. What about just peasant folk that need their lives saving? It doesn't seem like they would have access to such magics. Well, uh, Briv, if they sent you ascending, you would know who it is. Did you recognize the voice? I, it sounded like just an old guy, probably with a beard. How I... do you feel about worship, Briv? <laughs> Because it wasn't really ascending, it was people that worship you. Oh, I feel very welcoming of such activity. <laughs> it is all I have ever are wanted. You, are, are you just one peck getting like N stiff in the other way? <laughs> just, hey, like, high just... five, buddy. High five. They were mine worshippers. If, oh, wait, do I need to make an offering unto thee as well? They Brave, were like... praying to Lord mm -hmm. Briv. And I am sure that thou wilt get prayers at some point too. Thou art, thou dost have the divine spark. The, Someone had to get prayers first, and it just so happened to be Briv. You know, well earned. And you know what we should do? Answer those prayers. So can we go ahead and go then? Huzzah! Yeah, I, I kind of assumed we were walking and talking, and then getting yep. onto gun emplacements to just feel like I've closed the door behind me yep. and used the staff to lock it, and then taking the staff with me, handing it back to freely, and then like, um, hey, Whittle, where were the guns on this thing? Oh, you just go right past the laboratory, and uh, here, here's the key. I would like to destroy this temple. Okay, so I will say that uh, Whittle being Whittle and also built Storm Herald, that there are actual like cannon emplacements that have never been 100%, but are, have been hidden, and you can just cannonball the crap out of this temple. Oh, we we know about them. We used them on the uh, the glacier well, when we were in we, Icewind Dale. Like, like, oh, that oh, was yeah, how we destroyed we like, that whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We used like trebuchets. They were like scorpions. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. we, we yeah, you got like, an upgrade. Cannons. Yeah, yeah now, now, now they're cannon cannons. Well, it was we blessed. got them from the it mausoleum in Shadowfell. Yeah, you know. So yeah. now it's like cursed cannonballs. Bless, <laughs> celestial, bless cannon. happy, bless cannon non cursed cannonballs. Cannonballs that of holiness. murder. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I would like to shoot sanctification holy... and, and, and destruction. Holy, ho valid. holy cannonball. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I would totally bless all of these cannonballs, except I can't right now. So um, you just press this button. <laughs> Do you press a button? Boop. <laughs> Cannonballs just destroy things. Let's destroy mm -hmm. it and get on with it. Yeah. I yeah, have yeah. prayers yeah. to answer. Knowing it's... we're going to Theros, Alindra sort of goes over to the side, reaches into her bag, kind of pulls out a compact and starts like brushing her hair and, and just mm -hmm. doing quick touch-ups because she just needs to know that she's she needs to feel her best. <laughs> the, many the, tre <laughs> the trebuchets have been digitized with arcane magic. Digitized with arcane digital magic. Trebuchets. Yes. I don't even know what that means, but I want it. I just made it up. It's in Tron. Yeah. It's got to be in Tron somewhere. The it next is. Tron, Tron we, movie. The, the, oh, right. The, the, we the fight for the users. On the grid. You yeah. hear that familiar pop as all of Storm Herald gets teleported to Theros. Did we destroy the temple? The temple is just like, yeah, yeah. You are okay. actually, like, everyone else is like, we got to go, we got to go. And you are like death starring the temple. Yes. <laughs> and you just like blow it to pieces. I don't There's want like a, anyone else to do a, this ever again. A and mushroom just... cloud and everything else. I expect everyone else is not seeing how cool this is for you <laughs> because it's Orkara. <laughs> it's it's kind of bittersweet, but yeah, she, she watches it. She is not cool enough to walk away from an explosion. She's wa watching the whole thing. You watch the whole thing. The entire demi plane falls apart and inverts itself as you teleport into Theros as it falls apart. And you see immediately you're over Theros, the blue ocean, and you see demons overrunning the city of Miletus. 
I and keep pressing the button that lets me destroy things. Br Bruv actually starts You're randomly shooting this. cannonballs everywhere. <laughs> okay. Br Br Bruv takes this very seriously. So you see him uh, completely shift into uh, commander mode and he is like shouting at anyone that's still on Storm Herald to, uh, you know, he had previously trained like a Griffin cavalry. I don't know if that's still there, but he's uh, he he's doing whatever he can to start getting the relief effort underway. Uh, there is no. What no happened to all Storm of Herald? our people? Immediately, you do see Griffins flying towards Storm Herald from the city, and you see the giant colossus that is Briv Stillmarrow in his upsettingly too high, uh, skirt. Whatever you want to call it, Briv's not wearing a lot of clothes in this giant colossus that is made purely of steel and iron. That is like swatting at demons that are coming out of a portal in the ocean itself. How did you never mention that you've got a walking colossus? Like, I feel like we we could have used this thing like a lot. It was too big to fit on the ship. Correct. <laughs> and so the colossus. that's the only reason. The colossus is a, the Empire State Building tall. Wow! How yeah. large is how large is the portal that many people died trying to get the head done? <laughs> sure. The entire ocean is actually in this kind of weird whirlpool maelstrom because the water, like as demons are like popping out and it's the it's steam is erupting out of the ocean. It clearly must be a very large portal that has been ripped open. We have to figure out how to close the portal. That is job number one. Um, they can't keep coming out or we're going to be fighting here forever. I mean, this seems like another distraction. I hit, well, no, I, I can't hit my uh, divine sense because I'm going to detect all of that. Mm -hmm. um, it's, uh, it depends yes. on how much you want to pee a little. <laughs> this, this distraction is still equaling people dying. And if we don't want what happened to Waterdeep to happen here, we must intervene. Plus, I'm going anyway because is they it, prayed and asked me to. Is it not? To, does it not seem to be the place where we would want to bring us Modius. I don't know. We have to still handle the demons. Yeah. Yeah. Once we kill all the demons, then we can walk through. I'm fine with he, this. He doesn't seem particularly perilous here. Wait, so uh, is is there an, is there clearly a port? Is there a hole the demons are pouring out of? Oh yeah, for sure. They are like swimming out of this hole. That is also trying to like. It's very difficult for the demons because they are trying to get to landfall and they are getting there. But there is a whirlpool. The ocean is draining into a portal into the abyss or Roughly. somewhere. You don't know that it's the abyss. You know that there is a massive portal that has been opened up. Roughly, how big is the hole? And could I jam Storm Herald into it to plug it up? <laughs> <laughs> it's such a stupid idea. I'm going. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Like, no, no, I got it. It's fine. No, yep. no, it's gonna. Yep, be you can. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say that you can. <laughs> yep. Super going to drop the ship on the hole. It, it it won't solve the problem with the demons that are already here, but it's... it'll stop them coming. Yep. Full Jade Palace on it. Yep. Okay. So you. Sorry, I keep on moving out of the focus of my camera. Uh, you. Maneuver Storm Arrow, in that room. Do you let everyone else know? Nope. About this try, great now idea. Try, yeah. Now try and talk me out of it. No. Nope. Uh -uh. All right. Everyone. Look, people are shooting cannonballs. Uh, you feel Storm Hill being moved in a very specific direction by Freely. It is not my intent to wreck the ship. It is just my intent to put the Thank ship you. down yeah. on the hole. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and it is a blessed ship, so I would yeah. assume that even uh, demons would have a problem going near that, right? Hopefully. We're about to find out. <laughs> Hope, what are you doing right now? We are, are you two just having a good time? Just... All right. Chaos! Uh, Briv, about a hundred people on Griffins fly over to you. These are people that you interacted before in Theros. Hail, I do not remember thy names because I am terrible with them but I remember thine faces. Situation report. Uh, yeah, uh, so, so, sorry, sorry, this is the first time meeting a god. Um, um, 
Uh, I they just am started a just portal opened like up. the except far better and more divine. <laughs> so do not worry about it. The portal opened up and this demon started flooding out. It just uh, we do, we've never even seen these types of demons before. We don't know where they came from and 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 they're they're trying well, they to They came destroy from a everything. very bad place and we are going to destroy them. I need thee to get thine act together and stop acting. Like thou art in some kind of huge crisis. This kind of things happen to me all the time. And so I think that thou dost need to get thine act together and go lead these people. And then there's this thunk, this as all Storm Herald like lands in the ocean and plugs a hole in the ground. And yeah, it just starts steaming, but now you are within arm's reach of like lots of demons in the water. And now, like, Storm Herald, the top part of Storm Herald is now at the ocean level. And the like, bottom good, part is hitting the ground. Good news, everybody. I blocked the hole. And then a Brib points to the people <laughs> in the Griffins. Get the people who cannot fight for themselves to safety away from here. Get them away from here. And the Brib is going to run and jump up to whatever the highest point that he can find on Storm Herald. And then he just uh, holds uh, his sword up in the air and kind of shakes it and says, have at thee! And, and I'm going to yell as loud as I can at uh, at the demons, and then I'm going to jump down uh, into the middle of wherever they are. I'm following Briv. Wherever wherever Briv dives in to assault them, uh, Freely's right behind him. I mean, Briv jumps into the ocean, an ocean filled with nothing but demons. Penelope, we need to go down into the... the bowels of storm herald where there's all those tunnels that got dug out we need to make sure that the demons don't come through that way but everything's hollowed I, can they actually get through here i don't know and i don't want to guess okay let's go dm does yes. does whittle still have any sap and gum that she used to construct the original mech suit for rend yes okay how much of it like an uh, entire storage room full of it. Like, sure. Riddle, do, okay, Riddle, okay. do you need more gum? Like, I oh, everyone start chewing gum. <laughs> I, I, like, as Penelope and I are leaving to go to these tunnels, Orkira reaches into her handy haversack and pulls out a giant wad of gum. I, the Phoenix didn't want it. I don't why? know why the Phoenix. I don't. I've been carrying around literally an entire wad of gum for like two different shows because yep. at one point, I'm so Sophia's, glad we found a reason to use it. <laughs> Sophia gave me a giant wad of gum because Orkira asked what the Phoenix wanted and got a weird response. She's gonna pull it out. And say, I don't know why the Phoenix asked me for this. Didn't want it anyway. I've just been carrying it around here, and I'm gonna hand over, and I'm gonna take it out of my inventory for the first time <laughs> ever. A giant wad of gum <laughs> from one character to another, Megan. Here you go. Thank you. Is it chewed already? No, 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 property. no. She gave me a just a like you can tell that there's been chunks pulled off of it. Uh -huh. and, but no, it is not pre chewed. It's, oh, I, I, but it is I remember huge. when Sophia's was creating this in, invisibility gum or something. Um, yeah, this doesn't do the invisibility. This is just the gum. That, that's okay. Um, because I, I came here to chew gum and plug up tunnels <laughs> and we're all out of tunnels <laughs> well, we have a ton of gum <laughs> so much gum so mm -hmm. little is going to gather all of the gum uh if it's over 500 pounds she will ask it's not Kira it, and penelope it's, it's to a, us in addition to what she already has on storm herald that might be 500 what are you attempting to do and this is hey everyone at home who wants to uh, run D and D. This is what happens after three years. This is <laughs> this is my comeuppings. <laughs> I earned this this <laughs> moment. What are you doing with the not five hundred pounds of gum? I'm glad I'm here to make you feel super cool, Dean. Um, <laughs> just just plugging up any kind of um, entrance to the portals um, that lead to the outside of Storm Herald to make sure that nothing can come in. It's so gross. Okay, you are. Uh, Right, you can do this almost immediately because you move so fast. So you are just like kind of chewing on the gum. You do have to add a little bit of spit, and then you're just basically making Storm Herald uh, watertight in a really gross way that no one likes. So Whittle ate meat earlier in the day, so it probably just smells like meat and like cinnamon gum for some reason. 
in the tunnels. Okay. They they don't smell good, but they're safe. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. Storm Herald is now uh, watertight. What what, else, what is everyone else doing? All of the all of the Griffin Riders have formed up behind Briv Stillmarrow. Uh, well, above him. You've jumped into the ocean. You are slashing at demons left and right. As, as I am jumping down, I cast uh, Freedom of Movement on myself. Okay. Um, which is always prepared for my kind of paladin. And um, I'm going to land swinging. What does... I'm just going to ask, <laughs> Alindra, what at this moment are you doing? We have a few minutes left in the show. I, I wanted to cast Mind Blank on myself because I have been told that someone is looking for me and okay. that seems like a dangerous proposition. Um, That's very smart. And then I will... Ooh, oh, goodness. Um... Um, I think mine blink. Okay, that's yeah. that's that's the immediate thing that I I wanted to do. Freely, what are you immediately doing? So, I don't have the ability to freedom from movement, so I would just kind of drown if I drop in the water. So I'm gonna run to the the nearest uh, trebuchet or weapon emplacement on the edge of the boat and my just bombard the demons until they get within sword range. If they start trying to climb on the sword herald and fight or storm herald and fight them there, you 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 get to a cannon mm -hmm. and you're like you're loading a cannonball and you've done some pirating maybe mm -hmm. with Avern. Uh and then you look over to the left and you see an experimental weapon that Willow was working on and it's a Gatling gun. Nah, it's a, way you gotta, shinier. You gotta, crank it, you gotta crank it. Yeah, Ooh, yeah, ah, yeah. Cardio. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You go over to the Gatling gun. You start firing into the demons. What does up. Penelope Half Pint do? Uh, well, Penelope was helping Orkira, so is that still going on? No. Oh boy. Uh, then Penelope is going to. Okay. Uh... Go help freely. <laughs> How are you doing that? Are you turning into anything? Or I was thinking you... of um, uh, I'll probably use my final wild shape to uh, I'll turn into a f yeah, I think I'll turn into a giant eagle and my plan is to just like go swoop down and try to pick up demons, fly them way up in the air and drop them. <laughs> That's brutal and fantastic. <laughs> and have I missed anyone for their final to die? Or Kara. Or Kara, what are you doing? Um, she's so everything in Storm Herald has been plugged up, and now she's having this moment of like, I can't do anything. I can't do anything else. Um, uh, and she'll uh, as freely takes the Gatling gun, she'll walk on over. She'll be like, I'm taking this back for a second because I need it. And I'm going to take the staff. And uh, as everybody is going towards this horde of demons, uh, she's going to do one of the few things that she can do uh, using the staff. I'm going to cast Holy Aura uh, because the staff can be my reliquary. And uh, before everybody leaves the the sphere, the the staff like emanates this glow, and uh, everybody is going to shed dim light in a five foot radius and have advantage on all saving throws. And other creatures have disadvantage on attack rolls against you for the next minute. Uh, in addition, when a fiend or an undead hits the afflicted uh, the afflicted creature, creature with a melee attack, the aura flashes with a brilliant light and they have to do a constitu constitution saving throw or be blinded. So she sets this off, and I imagine it, especially as Briv goes like running into the horde, you just start seeing these <laughs> flashes as any time anybody is attacking them, it is just setting off a bright flash into the water. And Whittle was your final thing, other than the gum thing, which was super gross. <laughs> I'm not judging. <laughs> Whittle goes to pull out some lenses from her pocket and finds that a few of them are missing, but loads the ones that she does find into her crown of stars and okay. looks for Rend. 
Uh, you find Rend immediately? What do you want to do with Rend? Tell him we have a big fight ahead of us. And at this moment, you see all of you, Briv Steel Marrow, jump off the highest point of Storm Herald, a surrounded by an ocean filled with demons and steam and a giant colossus of Briv Steel Marrow in the distance, murdering demons and all types of griffins flying over. And Briv jumps off the tower and lightning flashes out of the sky, strikes Briv at that exact moment. As I assume he is smiting as all the demons form up into one giant clot of demons, forming a mountain of demons, rising up to meet him as he jumps off the tower. And that's where we're going to leave off the adventure, everyone. This was one of the weirdest adventures I've ever done. Ron, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I like the, the twists and the turns. I, I love all you, and I love you, I love you, Chaos Rolls. Uh, I don't. I can't believe we went there, but we did. Thank you so much. Yeah, that was fantastic. Do we have any other things that we need to talk about? Uh, Maybe uh, Whittle is just is... setting up a, a, a ton of trebuchets. Okay. Um, like li <laughs> like lining the outer perimeters of Storm Herald and the Gatling gun, the prototype, uh, she is loading again. Okay. You know, uh, thank you, Todd. That was really something. And I'm sure the siege of our now um, semi-aquatic uh, floating fortress is going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Yeah, Yeah, it's like but, sticking your uh, butt into the abyss. What could possibly happen? <laughs> you know, but it's a hallowed butt. A hallowed butt. Covered uh, in gum. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you for coming on this wild and unusual adventure with us. Uh, again, thank you to Sirenscape, Hero Forge, Idol Champions, and uh, Tailspire. Congrats to whoever won those drawings. Uh, also, if you haven't yet, sign up for your free account on Demiplane. Take a look. It's kind of incredible. Free to join. And we will see you all next week. Still going to be Later, fine. Guys. Don't worry about it. Megan, uh, spies, don't Ray. don't uh, light a match because you'll just blow the entire house up. <laughs> <laughs> <Just letting> you <laughs> know. <laughs>